Hey there, today I want to share with you five common mistakes that new trucking companies make their first year in business. My name is Nick Slada, and I'm the agency owner of Red Ox Insurance Agency. Uh, Red Ox is an agency that specializes in the trucking and transportation industry, and we're licensed in six different states, uh, Kentucky, Indiana, Tennessee, Texas, Georgia, and South Carolina. So if you're in one of those six states and need help, I'll be happy to help you as best I can. Um, all right, so let's get to this list. Five common mistakes that new trucking companies make their first year in business. The first one is miscalculating startup cost. Uh, it's not incredibly expensive to start a trucking company, but there are some startup costs that you're gonna to have to deal with, equipment, insurance, getting your authority, um, things of that nature. So you wanna properly calculate those startup costs. Uh, the second common mistake that truckers make uh, is when it comes to compliance. There's a lot of compliance when it comes to trucking, uh, mandates, uh, things that you need to know, things that you need to file, things to be aware of. So make sure you do your due diligence when doing your research to find out all the compliance issues that truckers have you know, having a driver file in the, in the cab of the truck, things like that. There's all kinds of things that you just need to be aware of uh, that can get you in trouble. The third mistake is getting too comfortable in the truck, meaning, you know, maybe you've been a, a truck driver for years and just started your own company and you've got a lot of experience. Uh, and sometimes you just get too comfortable, stop checking the mirrors, you know, stop doing things that you used to do to make sure that you were being 100% careful. Uh, you just kind of get lazy, not lazy, but just comfortable in the truck. Uh, and for the, the folks that are brand new, you know, let's say you're just getting a 26 foot box truck and you don't need a CDL and you're just getting in that box truck for the first time, just not making sure you are, you know, practice backing up, practice parking, practice driving, practice turning, things like that. Just don't get too comfortable in the, in the truck. And the fourth common mistake is failure to maintain your equipment. Uh, you know, maintenance, you gotta do proper maintenance on your vehicles. Um, so, you know, check the manufacturer of the truck that you drive and see what the recommended maintenance program should be for that truck and stick to it, oil changes, things like that. Uh, and also to go along with that, you know, you need a budget for maintenance as well, unless you're leasing or renting someone else is taking care of that for you, you're gonna have those expenses that are gonna come up. Just make sure you properly budget for them. Uh, and the fifth thing, you know, not hiring a dispatcher. Now, I'm not saying that you have to have a dispatcher to be successful in the trucking business. I just know that if you're new and you're not used to it and you're trying to do it on your own and drive the truck, it could be hard. I've heard uh, stories from truckers that, you know, they can't find loads, they can't do this, they're in the truck, they're, they just have a hard time. And then maybe they're trying to save on cost by not hiring a dispatcher, but it's actually costing them more in the long run because they're not getting loads. The, load, the amount of loads or the dollar amount per mile for those loads because they don't have a dispatcher taking care of that for them. So, you know, if that's you, you know, there's plenty of good dispatchers out there. Um, some just pay a, uh, charge you a flat fee instead of a percentage. So just do your due diligence, find a dispatcher that's gonna work for you. Again, if there's anything that I can help you with, please, you know, comment below, subscribe to the channel, like this video, um, you know, reach out to me, you know, go to my website if you need to help with anything trucking related, help getting started, advice, factoring fuel cards, ELD, you name it. I've got a resource for you. I got some help. Just give me a call. Thank you.